Hi, and welcome again to this channel. The purpose of the channel is to address the gap uh, between what is taught at the driving school and what you might experience when you now begin to drive uh, motor vehicles after you qualify as a driver. So in this uh, video today, we're going to handle the issue of roundabouts and roundabouts are taught in driving schools using what is known as model town board. And a model town board is a representation of a road scenario that includes roundabout and parkings. And this enhances the skills of a student of how to negotiate roundabouts uh, safely and effectively because uh, roundabouts are basically supposed to allow smooth movement of vehicles as uh, and in a safe manner so what are we going to uh, discuss today are the challenges or the difficulties a student or a new driver or a learner driver might face uh, trying to negotiate roundabouts number one the biggest challenge are the road markings. You will notice that in the model town board presentation, the markings, if we look at the example of a model town board, the markings are very well done and they are very clear. So you'll find out that you understand the movement on a model town board very easily and very clearly but the moment you go to the roads you'll find that uh, in most cases most roads and most roundabouts do not have markings uh, the markings have faded away because the authorities that are responsible for painting the roads and maintaining the road in a in a in a condition that it's easy for a motorist to drive take long to repaint and especially in roundabouts, it, it gives a very serious challenge because you're guided by the markings on the road. Number one, there are markings that show you which direction a lane can take you, either left or straight ahead, or straight ahead and right. Also, you will not be able to maintain your position on the road the way that it's supposed to because there are no markings guiding you. So what uh, is advised is you follow the car ahead of you. But in some instances, you'll find out that the, there is no car ahead of you and there are no markings on the, on, on, on the roundabout. So what do you do? You're a new driver and you find yourself uh, panicking and it's very easy for you to cause an accident. So it's very important to take note that once you leave the uh, driving school the situation you'll find out there is very different from what is portrayed uh, during the training so that is number one number two traffic jams traffic jams in any major towns cannot be avoided there are so many cars that the road infrastructure is sometimes unable to uh, support and thereby it limits smooth movement of vehicles so you will find out uh, because of the huge number of motor vehicles, especially during peak hours, traffic jams tend to build up uh, very quickly around roundabouts. And they are contributed by number one, lack of uh, traffic lights, also lack of uh, traffic police officers to control the traffic within the roundabout. And the other problem is that uh, motorists and drivers are very very impatient and they will drive close to the roundabout on the wrong lane and they'll try to squeeze themselves in front of you assuming yourself you are on the correct lane uh, they'll try to squeeze in front of you and to be able to get into the correct lane so it's chaotic uh, let's say in in, in brief it is very chaotic uh, driving a motor vehicle within uh, Nairobi roundabouts. So traffic jams are the other challenges that you're going to face. 
and in case you are approaching a roundabout uh, and you've not taken the correct lane to exit it will be very difficult for you to be able to try and change to the correct lane if you approach the roundabout say you're in, in lane number four and you want to exit the roundabout uh, going straight so you're supposed to change to lane number two so that you can drive straight ahead and exit the roundabout uh, at zero degrees so you'll find out to be able to move from lane number four to lane number two with all the vehicles uh, uh, that are lining up to exit the roundabout it will be a very big challenge to you so the other thing that thing the, the thing that you should note traffic jams also contribute to challenges in navigating and negotiating uh, roundabouts issue number three lack of courtesy from dr drivers and motorists from the teachings that have been done at driving schools when you're joining a roundabout the rule of a roundabout is to give way or priority to the vehicles already inside the roundabout and if you notice on the roundabout every road that is joining the, or that is entering the roundabout to mean that you're supposed to give way so most drivers do not adhere to the rules of using a roundabout so you will find out that if you're inside a roundabout there's a driver who will drive without even bothering to check whether there is anyone inside the roundabout uh, trying to exit. So you'll find a lot of challenge because drivers do not uh, give way the way the rules say and you, 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 you have to be very careful when you're negotiating roundabouts and you have to be on the lookout uh, for this kind of uh, behavior, uh, driving behavior amongst uh, most of the motorists. So there's no courtesy and nobody who is, is willing to give way. The next challenge are non-vecular road users on the roundabout. And these are your cyclists, border borders, motorcycles, and pedestrians. These four categories of road users will be a, will be a big challenge or a big risk when you're navigating uh, the roundabout. You'll notice that uh, when vehicles are waiting to join a roundabout, uh, probably they're waiting for the traffic lights to turn green so that they can move, all the motorbikes and border borders and cyclists will move in between the lanes and will come and stop at the front of the vehicles. So when the traffic light turns green for you to proceed there'll be a multitude of motorbikes cyclists uh, trying also to uh, move and you have to be very careful because again there's some impatient motorists behind you hooting at you to move and also pedestrians in some cases pedestrians will cross in between the roundabouts and it's a very crazy situation but it happens, as you can see, in some of the groups uh, that we have done, the uh, pedestrians will cross uh, inside the roundabouts and they can create confusion to you because you're trying to avoid, and as you try to avoid hitting a pedestrian, you might turn your vehicle and collide with the drivers or with the motorists beside you. So it's very important to take note, always be on the lookout for pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcycles those uh, categories of uh, road users are very very uh, dangerous when it comes to maneuvering around about and sometimes you have to be always on the lookout on your side in front behind in order to know to to, to be able to notice if there is any of those uh, that can pose a risk in your maneuver within the roundabout the other challenge are big motor vehicles. Those are large motor vehicles and those are trucks and trailers. Whenever you are next to a truck or a trailer, always ensure you give them priority to navigate the roundabout. Some of them are too big 
to contain in a particular lane. So they might take up to three lanes for them in order for them to maneuver inside and outside the roundabout. So it's very important whenever there's a large vehicle, a heavy commercial vehicle, a trailer, fuel tanker, always let them negotiate the roundabout while you're either behind or in front. But never ever negotiate a roundabout in between trucks and large vehicles because what will happen, their blind spots are very big so they might not even notice you're there. And also secondly, when they're negotiating the uh, lanes or the roundabout, they may squeeze into the lane in which you are. And if the driver cannot notice you because of the blind spot, then they might crash you or it could be a serious accident. So always remember, whenever there's a truck uh, besides you, try and keep uh, behind it or ensure you are ahead of it, but never, never attempt to negotiate a roundabout beside a lorry, a truck, a trailer, a tanker. Uh, because...